New Year, New You, all that sort of thing, cutting out all the bad stuff, focusing on the healthy stuff. Does it all work? Well, let's talk to fitness expert Joe Wicks, who is here. Really good to see you this Good morning. Week. Well, every year, every New Year, people sort of start on these. I don't know whether you call it a fad diet or what. I mean, how would you describe it? Well, now is the time of year everyone's they're most motivated to make changes in their life, whether that's with fitness, with nutrition. But I do think the biggest mistake people make is doing something too restrictive. And Gusto, I've just done a, a bit of research, and, and two thirds of Brits now believe there's, there's no there's no one size fits all approach for dieting. So rather than go on a really restrictive diet and cut everything out that you love, it's about being more flexible and just focusing. I believe on just home cooking and home workouts to really sustain your health and fitness throughout the year. How does that work then? Because how do you know if you're cooking at home or cooking from scratch, whatever it might be, how do you know it's, it's healthy? Well, there's, look, I've got cookbooks, there's obviously Instagram, there's loads of websites, there's so much content, there's so, much pe so many people out there spreading really positive stuff around nutrition. So it's kind of just keeping it simple as well. If you remove processed foods, junk foods, takeaways, and you just focus on going back to like whole ingredients, like you used to cook, you know, your mum and dad used to cook when you were younger, it's keeping it simple, and that for me is, is the key to success and staying healthy all year round. Is part of the problem when it comes to dieting at any sort, any time of year, that people want a quick fix? And I know what that feels like. The idea of saying, well, you're going to be a few pounds lighter in six months is really hard to cope with. You want to be a stone lighter in a fortnight. Well, a lot of people focus, I think, on just the physical aspects, you know, looking a certain way, losing weight, but that isn't a mo that's not a big enough motivator. I think people need to focus on the mental health and the energy it gives you. I've just done a workout this morning. I've had a really broken night's sleep. I've got a new baby, but I've, I've done a little 15 minute workout. My mood's lifted, my energy's lifted. And when you, when you do it regularly, when you, when you realize how good it makes you feel, then the physical transformation will come. It just takes time. But yeah, patience is a very important thing when uh, it's coming. You've done 15? Yeah, only 15 minutes, which right. is, you know, it's not, a, it's not a lot, but it's better than nothing. So I've got a YouTube channel where I do a lot of workouts and stuff. And I, I just believe that daily exercise, just even if it's 15, 20 minutes has a massive impact and you obviously have to combine that with nutrition um, and then if you do the two you can live a healthy life. Well, it, it's the key then doing something that that works for you that's manageable but actually that you can sustain because I mean this sort of diet I guess has to be never-ending in that sense you need a you know a regime that you can stick to for good. <clears throat> It's about a lifestyle, isn't it? Yeah, and yeah, I was speaking yeah. to some of them down on Instagram. They said that they've been spending 140 quid a month on their gym membership for the past eight months. They've been twice. Ouch. And so it's about kind of, you know, if, if it's too, un, 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 you know, difficult for you to get to the gym and have a personal trainer, all these things that you think you need, you can really get fit and healthy just from home. And I, I've obviously got um, my YouTube workouts, I do all my recipes, I've got my Gusto recipes to get delivered each week, and it, it really makes things easy. It's about keeping things simple, and I believe that if you can make your home your gym, that's the way you're going to get fit this year. What about Veganuary? Because a lot of people will be doing Veganuary. Is there a danger in that? And not against, and there are plenty of vegans who live, you know, very good and very healthy lifestyles. But if you're just doing it for a month, you need to be very, you need to really look into how to alter your diet to maintain all the right nutrients, don't you? Yeah, I think you can be, you know, you can be very, you can do it very well, you can do it very healthily, you've just got to do a bit of research, make sure you're getting all the protein sources and having a variety of, you know, food and nutrients. But again, if it's something you want to try, I just think it's quite extreme to go from eating loads of meat and chicken and fish to going straight into a hardcore vegan. Maybe, you know, try a month by reducing things, trying some vegetarian food and then, and then working up to that. I think it's more realistic to do that. I think it'd be more sustainable um, long into the future. But it's, again, it's if you feel good eating a vegan diet and it gives you energy and you feel amazing, then go for it. If you find it doesn't work for you, don't feel like you've got to do a certain thing. You know, be more flexible in your approach to dieting and eating. Yeah, all of this, it sounds like it's more for you. It's all right, though, you look fantastic, but is it more about mental health and... Than, say, than losing weight or whatever. I used to talk a lot about, like, my 90-day plan is like an online fitness plan. I used to talk about fat loss, getting ready for summer, feeling good, looking good. But now I actually talk, it's more about the mental health aspects because people, you know, were struggling with anxiety and depression and low self-esteem. So exercise is the most important and most powerful tool that we can all use at our disposal. And that's why I'm really on a mission. I'm, I'm now at working with kids and getting kids exercising because it needs to start as young as you can to incorporate into your, your mind and your life to really enjoy it as an adult. But Joe, really good to talk. I feel, I feel enlivened. You're gonna do a workout today? I might have to. You're gonna cook a recipe? I will cook a recipe. <laughs> right, I, will, a healthy I recipe. will do some cooking. I will do some. I'm halfway there, if nothing else. Good to see you. Thank you very much indeed.